Welcome in this tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to play Fire 4 locally uh, in single player. The first requirement is to already have the game in your Steam library, otherwise you're not going to be able to install it and play it. It's pretty obvious, but if you don't have it, uh, this tutorial is not going to be applicable to you. So the first step is to go to that URL, so it's github.com slash themeldingwars slash pin and it's a github repository with a bunch of code and a readme.md which is going to be enabling us to play the game locally so the first step is to install the game obviously then you can open the game files by going in the settings properties installed files and click browse once you're in the folder you can click on firefall.ini to modify it and yours should look like this you can copy and paste that text in the file and save and close it. Once that is done, go to that uh, link and scroll all the way down to download firefallclient.exe and pirateintelligencenetwork.zip. Put them in a folder where you're going to find them easily. And as you can see, I've got Firefall Client and Pirate Intelligence Network extracted in this folder. Once you've got them, you can go back into the game files, go to System, Bin, and find Firefall Client.exe. You can copy and paste it. You can rename it, uh, maybe by adding a .ba key extension, just to uh, show that it's a backup of the previous. Uh, Firefall client.exe, you can also copy and paste it in just another folder wherever you want. Once the backup is done, you're going to be replacing uh, the existing Firefall client by the new one you've downloaded from that page. Maybe by drag and dropping it, or you can just copy and paste it in the file. And once it's overwritten, you can click on that link to download three things. Uh, the first one is the SDK, uh, the second one is the ASP Netcore Runtime, and the third and last one is the Runtime or Desktop Runtime. You can choose whichever one you want. So the first thing you need to make sure uh, you've got right is the version you need 6.0.16 and for the SDK I think you can just choose whichever one you want but uh, the second thing you need to make sure you got right is the architecture so you're going to need x, uh, x64 sorry and you can download the SDK right here it's going to be opening and as you can see I already have it you can also download ASP by clicking the link and as you can see I've got it here and you can download the desktop runtime or runtime if you're on Linux and as you can see I've got it here as well once you've got all the files downloaded you can run them one by one and you're going to be prompted with an install button uh, it's pretty straightforward and it should be installed pretty smoothly in just a few seconds once you've installed all the .NET dependencies, uh, you can close the tabs and get away from it. It's just working fine. Uh, the next step is going to be to check uh, for the development certificate. So press Windows R and run CMD, or just run your Linux uh, terminal, and paste the command .NET dev uh, HTTPS dash dash trust. If you've got this output, or if you've got a prompt to click yes, uh, that's uh, pretty good. That's a good sign. <laughs> click yes on the prompt, or just close the terminal if you've get if you've gotten this output. Once you've done uh, the first eight steps, we're almost there, and we are going to be going in the game files. Oh uh, no, sorry, in the uh, pirate intelligence network uh, zip you've downloaded. You can extra extract it and uh, go inside, run gameserver.exe, run matrixserver.exe, and run webhostmanager.exe. So you're going to get three uh, small terminals opening. And if they're closing instantly, that means you've downloaded the wrong version of the 
.NET dependencies. So just make sure you've got the 6.0.16 and the x64 architecture. Once you've got the three windows running, you can start the game and you need to make sure that you've got the right firefall client. Uh, that's the one you've downloaded from that page. You can double click it and that's going to be launching the game. And once you're on this page, you can just put pretty much anything in the username and password uh, fields and click just connect. You're going to be met with a bunch of raptors level 10. Uh, these uh, these raptors just uh, represent uh, multiple uh, locations in the game you can visit. So we're going to pick this one randomly. And the game should be loading and you're going to be inside uh, the location you've chosen. So right here we're inside a uh, melting tornado as I can uh, recognize. Sadly we're unable to gather a lot of crystite. That's because uh, the only thing you can do for now is running and sprinting, uh, getting out uh, your guns, shooting, using secondary gun, shooting and aiming. You can open every interface of, uh, such as your character or um, let's see what else can we open. Yeah, we can get inventory, we can get the market, we can also get the map. Uh, that's all you can do, but you can interact with very little stuff, such as uh, messages, as you can see. Uh, you cannot gather them because of HTTP errors. Yeah, you're very limited, but that's, just, that's still a small victory to be able to run the game and visit it once again. Maybe uh, the GitHub repository will be getting some views and will be developed further and beyond. Maybe uh, the development will enable us to get some entities like monsters, shoot them, get NPCs and all that stuff. Uh, for now that's all you can do but I think it's still a nice victory to celebrate to be able to run Firefall once again locally. <laughs>